coming in, in the little Cessna, which of course reminded me of all the travel I did in Africa in those little planes, was uh, just incredible because the rain went away and the view, the scenery, flying over the volcanoes, looking down at the ocean, seeing the islands and the spread of the land and so wild and so uninhabited for so many miles was, uh, was really exciting and, and gave me a feeling that I don't often have these days. Bears are engaging because they're so obviously different. I mean, they look different. And it doesn't take too long either looking at the bears out there with little scars or marks on their faces, uh, or some of the incredible footage that I've seen that the Disney team have already filmed. Uh, they're very different from each other. And then I hear their stories, and some of the stories are tragic, and some of them have happy endings. And all of it is dramatic and, and uh, well, I've learned a lot. Watching them running, galloping through the water, pouncing, splashing, turning, twirling, going this way again and coming up with a fish in their mouth, it's incredible. What I've loved being here, apart from the bears and uh, the hope of seeing wolves, I must say, I haven't seen wolves yet is um, the scenery, the ocean, the strange islands, the volcanic mountains, the meadows with, with flowers in them, and the different colors. It's really spectacular, it's breathtaking, and I'm just very, very happy to be here and to be able to experience just a little bit of it. The Beautiful scenery here, looking around out at the ocean, the cloud formations, the mountains. Um, I just, I can imagine it on the big screen. I can imagine how stunning it will be and how people will vicariously experience what it's like to be here. So it's a perfect place for a Disney nature film. And the bears are perfect subjects for a Disney nature film. It's, it's all ideal. One of the things that I saw on the film that's been already taken is an extraordinary sequence where a wolf seems to have some kind of relationship with a bear and <laughs> a scene of a wolf, a young wolf I suppose, trying to catch a salmon and being completely bewildered. I don't know if he watched the bear and tried to do what the bear did but he succeeds in leaping about and making a lot of splashing and I don't think he came anywhere near catching a salmon. And so then the sneaky fellow, I mean of course wolves are highly intelligent, manages to sneak up when the bear is very busy eating his salmon that he's caught and suddenly the wolf just very quietly snitches a nice little piece of it looks like entrails and goes trotting off very proud with his spoils. the best way for young people to really become inspired and passionate about nature is to be in it. But a lot of them can't be. And going to a film on a big screen, particularly with an, an environment and, and scenery and animals as amazing as in this film, that cannot but help to spread the message that I feel is so all important that if we don't do something to save the environment, then that'll in the end be the end of us.